Hey, you all. I just want to come shoot this quick video. Oh, my God. I've been trying to shoot this video for a day, I swear. So, first of all, it's your girl, your favorite non-viral star. So, I want to talk about an issue I know that's bothering you all because it's bothering the heck out of me. Scammers. So, this is a message to the scammers and to people to be aware, be aware of what's going on with the scammers. Okay? So, look. I've been getting random emails. They haven't been going to the junk. They've been coming straight in my inbox about I have been approved for $2,500. I have been approved for this, approved for that. I used to get those little fake checks in the mail. Don't send me that junk. It's a thirst trap for me because guess what? I am broke. Okay? My car is going through some things. I'm going through some personal things in my life. My mouth surgery is $34,000, not $3,400, $34,000. So I need that money. Stop trying to scam me because although I need that money, I'm not opening up any of those emails and I'm not depositing any of those checks into my account. Second, I need it. Probably more than the person who's scamming me. So why would I send you any part of the check back? Duh. So something st stupid or slow. So stop sending me that. I have been telling you all that forever. I The only way I'm going to get rich is if I do it my own or if I get picked up by Tyler Perry. Everybody knows how much I want to work for that man. I want for. Let me tell you all. I want to work for that man so much that I'm still doing the Instagram challenge where... I don't mention his name. Other people have tagged him in my post. But I keep on the bands from the gala. So the gala was October 5th, if I remember correctly. It is past January, right? It's also past January 5th. And I still have the oh, bands on. Ah. I have. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to fall for it, okay? There's two houses that I like, right? So, I've been applying for a house. My family's expanding. Some things are changing. I need more room. I want a puppy. Blah, 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 blah. Right now, I've been out of bankruptcy a year. Almost two. Two will be this July. But, I went through a program... My FICO score is up to their satisfaction. It's been over a year since my bankruptcy has been discharged. But then they go on to talk about my vintage score. Uh, so it's one it's one thing after another. Don't send me that. I may just take that money and use it for a down, down deposit on something. Y'all excuse me. I'm recovering from a cold or something I got going on here. But... Don't do that. I had this lady tell me that to look at the house, it would be $100. She must thought I was boo-boo the fool. Rently is $0.99. Cent. And I can look at 20 houses, I believe. I'm not going to be pressed about no $0.99 because I'm going to get that back. But $100 to look at a house? Then she told me the house was 800 a month and I think like six fifty or seven fifty security deposit. Whatever it came to, it came to fourteen seventy five. So I went, Googled the house address she sent me, and it came up to be another it came up to be a housing company, Main Street Renewal. So I'm not going to send you $100. Not only that, I'm going to block you because I don't feel safe. Now they are using like 314 numbers or 341 numbers. I forgot the area code. But they would sit and talk to you like they're the landlord. This man kept telling me his house, his house, his house. And I was like, okay, no problem. 
I had told him, like, I got some challenges, you know, on my credit. Like, I'm going to be 100 with you. I need a third for a chance. Like, I done, you know, I done messed up by helping people. I done messed up by not being on my feet. I done messed up by not knowing the law, not knowing that if it rains in your place, you can't withhold rent here in Georgia because they wouldn't fix the repairs. So I withheld rent from somebody, and I ended up getting evicted. Not knowing, but then I get, end up getting evicted with a zero balance. So when I tell people, yes, I got evicted, but they don't want any money for me. But to to get the eviction off my credit, that's not showing on my credit. She wants seventeen hundred. So you, I done messed up. So I I was honest with the man, and he's telling me, you know, like, do you have, you know, how many people? He's not, you know, he's not asking me for any money. Blah blah blah. He's, you know. He's really calm. He's really cool. So I was like, okay, this is good. We're talking. We're communicating. He was like, so when do you want to come?